my name is Joy Kaczorowski and welcome to Deception Pass State Park. I work as an interpretive specialist here with Washington State Parks. Come join me as we discover some of the amazing animals that call the state park home. There are a group of animals that share many similar characteristics to you and I that live here at Deception Pass State Park. They actually live in the water, such as the Salish Sea, which you see behind us. Can you guess what this group of animals are called? These animals are called marine mammals. Now the word marine means found in or produced by the sea and refers to where these mammals spend the majority of their lives. At Deception Pass State Park, it's not uncommon for us to spot marine mammals as they swim near our rocky beaches. In order to explore what animals are exactly marine mammals, let's explore what a mammal is. Maybe you're thinking of a cat or a dog, or maybe you're even thinking of a friend or a family member because humans are mammals too. Take you a moment to reflect. Can you think of any traits or characteristics that all mammals might have in common? I bet many of you guessed that all mammals have lungs and breathe air. Gray whales, the largest marine mammal we can see from the park, typically surface every three to five minutes, though can hold their breath for more than 30 minutes underwater as they feed. A gray whale's nostrils, called blowholes, are located on the tops of their heads, which allow them to barely break the water surface as they breathe. When you're thinking of other mammal characteristics, I can imagine that a few of you even guessed that all mammals are warm-blooded. Warm-blooded means that the animal is able to maintain a constant body temperature. This can be done in a variety of ways, such as feathers, fur, hair, or even blubber. Orcas, also known as killer whales, are one of the most widely spread mammals in the world. Having a thick layer of blubber allows them to survive in the cold 50 degree Fahrenheit water which surrounds the park or even colder waters such as the Arctic Ocean, the coldest ocean in the world. When considering how to stay warm, I bet many of you concluded that all mammals have hair or fur. One marine mammal in particular comes to mind when I think of furry mammals in the Salish Sea, the stellar sea lion. As the largest sea lion in the world, male stellar sea lions can weigh up to 2,500 pounds, which is almost as much as a small car. A male stellar sea lion can be identified by the long coarse hair on its chest, shoulders, and back that look like a mane. The body of the male and female stellar sea lions are completely covered in small hairs to protect their skin. Like many other mammals, sea lions molt each year, which helps them to maintain a healthy coat. And finally, I bet some of you were able to remember that all mammals give live birth and supply milk for their young. A marine mammal we often see in the park, the harbor seal, has been known to come on shore to birth or even nurse its young. Their young, called pups, are so well adapted for marine life that they're able to swim within minutes of birth, so they can only stay underwater at this young age for two minutes at a time. Often, park visitors stumble across seal pups hidden in the rocks of the beach as they rest. If you find a pup, it's important to not touch, feed, or move these pups. Instead, report sightings to park staff so we can properly protect the area. Well everyone, I hope you had fun as we discovered how marine mammals are not all that different than you and I. As all mammals, including our marine mammals, breathe air, have hair or fur, give live birth and supply milk for their young, and are warm-blooded. From all of us here in Washington State Park, thank you for joining us.